the same came therefore to Philip, which was of Bethsaida, of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. Let's go, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our dear most Heavenly Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, tonight for just the opportunity to be in your house. We thank you for the singing hour, the teaching hour. We thank you, Lord, for the special singing. We just pray, God, that you would just continue to abide with us and use me for a little while, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, for uh, loving us and saving us, Lord, and dying on Calvary for us. We pray, God, tonight that your Holy Spirit would just guide and direct tonight, Lord, in just everything we ever do, Lord. We just bring glory and honor to you. I love you, Lord, and just thank you for everything. In your precious name we ask these things tonight, Jesus. Amen. Uh, I, I was looking at this this afternoon, and I wanted to just uh, preach to you for a little while. Uh, uh, these Greeks here, we understand uh, uh, they were going to the feast here, or uh, probably Passover maybe at that time of year. But uh, uh, what struck me when I was reading this afternoon, looking at this, that uh, uh, these people had a desire to come to the feast and, and, and to look and search for God and to look Him. But I want us to see something. That they came up to worship. Anytime uh, you're going to worship the Lord or do anything for Him, you're going to come up. Uh, you're going to come up from where you're at. You're going to meet Him somewhere up above where you and I are at. He's always there. The Bible talks about uh, in the uh, New Testament that the Lord is high and lifted up. Uh, I think it was Isaiah that seen Him uh, said that He was high and lifted up His uh, robe filled up.
just something about uh, godly people coming together. It don't matter. We've said this before. It don't matter if you're from Kentucky or you're from Michigan. If you know the Lord Jesus Christ, there should be a unity there and a spirit pulling one another together. And each one of us has something in common. And it is the Lord Jesus Christ. So there's that love there that pulls us together. And then we are allowed to come to church to worship the Lord. Uh, a lot of places in the world don't have that freedom, but we do. Yeah. And yet we take advantage of us. And I'm talking about us, me, the Christians. We, we should thank the Lord that we have another day. We should thank the Lord that we've got that of uh, being able to worship Him. He deserves all our worship. And these men came to worship at the feast, it says. And uh, uh, well, a lot of times we, we need to come and just to worship the Lord. I hope, as I said earlier, that we uh, just have that intent. Uh, in our hearts, uh, uh, they should be a, uh, I'm just talking to myself a little while, okay? They should be an eagerness to come to church uh, to see what the Lord is going to do. Uh, 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 how's He going to use me? Uh, how's He going to give me the words to say? How is He going to make Himself known to me uh, so that I can present it to you? And how He may deal with you on your hand on what He does. But there should be an eagerness in there. And that is something that God is it's an exciting. Uh, uh, worship can be exciting. You know, it's not like, oh, Lord, thank you. I made it another day. I'm glad I got to come and see so-and-so at church and go home. More excitement on the side of the road uh, 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 than, than in a church house. Uh, I call that, that's dead in trespasses and sins. It's just dead as a hammer. And I don't like that. But you you know, worship is something that we can get excited about. I know it's not all feeling. I understand that. It's faith. To believe when you can't see. Believe when you can't uh, uh, feel. Uh, believe just but because of why? Because of God's Word. Uh, that's, that, that is what you're relying on. Uh, God Himself, and He said, we talked about it in discipleship, He cannot lie. He is not going to tell you something that's not true. And His promise in the Word is that He'll never leave you for nor forsake you. He'll carry you from this world to Him. We'll forever be with Him in His presence. Because why? Because Jesus Christ died on Calvary's cross and made an open door. And if He raised, that's what we just sung about now. If He raised that same Jesus, He'll raise you. And why is that? It's not because of what I've done. It's not because of what you've done, but it's because that He resides in His Spirit in us. And that same Spirit will quicken us and raise us up. There's power in the blood. Ain't that that something? There's power in the blood. That's where the power's at. It's where Christ died on Calvary. He fulfilled the law. He fulfilled the Spirit. He fulfilled the, the words of God. And everything the Bible talks about, every word, of Scripture is to be lived by and obeyed by. We're, we're to obey it. We're to do that tonight. So, but we have an uh, exciting time. We can worship the Lord. And these men came to seek and to worship. But they were looking for the key one. You know, a lot of times we come and, uh, as I said earlier, it's good to see you. Uh, I, and I love you. I hope you understand that when I'm about to say this. I love, I love these girls that sing. I get to see her on Sunday nights a lot of times. A lot of times she's in the choir. I told her she, she sings like a bird. <laughs> she's good. Uh, but as much as I love her well as they may sing, I, I, I need to see Jesus. I want to know He's here. As much as I love you, that's what we come to see. We want to see the Lord work in our church. Uh, he, I want Him to see and to work in David's life. Uh, he's worked in my life. Uh, so, uh, you know, I've shared this before. He took me from a shy little boy that would not speak in front of crowds over here to where he called me to preach. I don't stand up here to be sick. I don't stand up here because I'm here. I stand here because God called me. Uh, I love to preach. It's because I love doing what God wants me to do. You, that's the fulfillment. It's just being there at the right spot where God says, good job. And, and tonight, uh, I just want to get across to you. You know, we love one another. 
And we can see the Lord work. Or we can be excited about what God's doing. And we should be excited about what He's doing in our lives too. In our premise. Just because it's not happened yet, don't give up. Uh, don't quit. You know, this old song, I'm so, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm this close to home. Don't give up now. I mean, you're that close. Why would you quit? Right there. Well, keep on going. The old song, uh, keep on going on. You know, uh, we see tonight that we need the Lord Jesus Christ. And we see that, we feel that, we understand that. But He's the one that does the work. And He's the one that takes care of us. So even if you're, uh, you can bank on those promises. You know, you may not see it. I have a granddaughter. Most of y'all in this house know that. I pray for her now. She's just maybe six months old. She's probably not that old yet. I, I can't remember. But anyway, <laughs> uh, my, there you go. Ask Sandra. <laughs> uh, but I've already started and I've been doing it. Praying that she knows the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And be saved. Yes. That's it. Uh, you know, so well, I'd like for her to go to college or maybe a nice house and maybe you can pray sometimes for the guy she's going to meet someday. Uh, my concern right now is for her to know the Lord when it's come that time. Why? I love her so much. I love her so much she's just been here a little while. I love her so much. And I don't want to spend eternity separated from her. It, but we should have that love for one another. That we love one another just as much as we love these children and little babies. You don't want to spend nothing. You would die. You would jump in front of a truck to protect a baby. You would protect them and do everything you can. But we should have that love for one another uh, 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 and for a lost and dying world. And just because it's not happening yet doesn't mean it's going to. I, 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 I'm a firm believer. I may not see it. I might go on before she comes to know the Lord. I may not, you know, you may die before she gets to that age. I don't know. But I'm a firm believer that my God is able to reach down and speak to hearts. And if I pray long enough and other people pray hard enough and long enough, the Lord will save me. And she's going to be raised right. I, you know, that's a good plus, Brother Jeff. That's a good plus. She is going to be heard and listen. She's been in church as Matthew has preached before. I never did think about that. She's been in church longer than she's been alive because her mama went to church. And, and that was a pretty good analogy for me that struck me pretty good. I, you know, the old country boy like I am. But uh, uh, the point of it is, is, you know, she needs to know the Lord. But we have people in our family. That need the Lord. It don't matter if they're your aunts, your uncles, but Lord, the Lord God is faithful if we will humble ourselves before the Lord and pray to Him. See, what I can't do and what you can't do is no problem to my Jesus. He don't have any problem. Say, so, well, the devil bugs me to death. Yeah, he gets on my back too. Don't bother the Lord. Man. He created you. He just tell him. You know, the angels came to him instead of giving some kind of big speech. He, he just looked at him and said, I rebuke you in the name of who? The Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he, he's the one that created him. So uh, the Lord is able to do all things. We just got to trust him. Put our faith in Him, look to Him, worship Him, thank Him for our saved, thank Him that He's saved your families, thank Him He's going to save. Uh, uh, we just need to believe Him, trust Him in that. But then we'll see Jesus in our lives. We'll feel Him, uh, we'll talk to Him, we'll read about Him, and we may be able to be, uh, live long enough to see Him work. What a joyful time. Uh, for us to see. But we, I just wanted to share this with you tonight. And you'll always go up if you'll just worship. Uh, my bad days or uh, wherever I feel, and I may feel down, if I start thinking about the Lord, I, I will feel better than I did. I, I may not get completely up, but you will feel better when we get to the place that we put Jesus first. Say, here I am, Lord. 
without you, I'm nothing. <laughs> if we get to that point, he'll use us. No credit to me. No credit to my car. No credit to us. Lord, you just did it all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. Tonight, the Lord Jesus Christ deserves all praise and worship. Amen. Bless his holy name. Amen. There's nobody like him. Uh, uh, you can't find him on a football field. <laughs> uh, you can't find him in a sports complex. Uh, he, he, he's much bigger than that. Hey, as much uh, 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 of these people that uh, receive that type of uh, uh, get put up on a pedestal, my Lord is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Uh, all things about to him. Uh, all tongues of confess that he is uh, Christ the Lord Jesus, the Son of God that died our own Calvary. Uh, every day of day. It's good to do it on this side. It feels pretty good. It feels pretty good when we put him where he needs to be. Uh, tonight, I, I appreciate you. I love you tonight. We'll ask uh, uh, them to come and uh, get a song tonight. To, you may need to pray, but uh, do we have a desire to see Jesus like these people? He's at work. But do we just know when he was working? He's always at work. It's just that sometimes David gets too busy and he doesn't see it. But he's always there. He's always around. His, his presence is always there. Every day. I appreciate you tonight. I, I ask that you just stand to your feet while he's feeling and sing tonight. These ladies play. Uh, you may have a prayer need or whatever it may be. You may need to just go tell somebody you love. Oh, good night. Good night. Thank you.